Hello everyone, today let's talk about finding the x-intercept and the y-intercept for this linear equation y equals negative 3x plus 5. And as you can see here, this linear equation is actually written in the slope-intercept form. And so that means by just looking at the equation, we should be already be able to figure out what the y-intercept is. And then how do you know that? Well, in here, okay, you can see that this number in front of the x, this is the slope, okay? And that's why it's called a slope in this f4. And then what about the other number? The other number is actually the number that will give us the y-intercept. So y-intercept, okay? So in this case, it will be a point, it will be zero for the x value and then the five for the y value. So you can see that by just looking at the equation, we already have the y-intercept without any calculation. So that's the benefit of writing the equation in the slope-intercept form. Okay, so we already got one answer. Now you may say, what about the x-intercept? Now the x-intercept is something that we need to do a little bit of calculation, okay? And to find the x-intercept, what happens, okay, so we need to find the x-intercept. What happens is that we are going to do what? Here's the idea, we are going to set y equal to zero and then you may say why do we do that it's really because when we set y equal to zero okay then that is where if you just look at the xy plane and you try to grab this line right here okay when y is equal to zero we are actually looking at a point on the x-axis that's where the graph of the line is actually intersecting the x-axis so that's how we find the x-intercept Okay, and so of course, uh, for this line, for this line, we have the y-intercept, which is uh, 0, 5, right? So, and then it has the slope of negative 3, so the line is actually looking like this. This is really just a sketch for this line. It's not, it's not too accurate, but then I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And now, we already figure out this y-intercept right here, which is what? Which is 0, 5, that's the y-intercept. The x-intercept. Okay, the x in the step is this one. And as you can see that the y must be zero in this case, okay? And now the question is, how do we find the x? And so we gotta do the calculation, okay? So once we set y equal to zero, then we are going to get what? We're gonna get, um, we're gonna get zero, okay? Because the y becomes zero. And then now we still have negative three x plus five. And so this is the equation that we gotta solve. And it's actually easy to solve because there is, it's a single equation with x being the unknown. So we just need to isolate the x here. So moving the phi over, so we get to subtract phi from both sides. So we are going to subtract phi from both sides. Okay, and then what happens? Then we are going to get negative five equals negative three x. Okay, and then isolating the x means that we get to, what we get to divide both sides by negative three because it's multiplication, right? So divide both sides by negative three here, and then we are going to get what? We are going to get negative five over negative three. The negative signs will get canceled, so we get five over three, and then what do we get here? The negative threes will get canceled, so we just get x. And so we already figure out the answer, so um, what can we say about the x in the set? Now we go back here, and then we write down the answer, so we get five over three x as the x-intercept. So right now, it's actually good to start writing down the answer. So the x-intercept, okay, is going to be what, phi over three and then zero. And then what about the y-intercept? The y-intercept is going to be what, zero, five. So we have the final answer. Okay, so that's it for this problem. We are going to see another example next time. Thank you for watching, I will see you.